Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of my Roman Empire playthrough. In the last episode I felt like we achieved quite a lot, with the exception of uh, Bre Bremen. All of Germany is our religion. We can see a lot of missionaries down which are not our own, uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, with that being said, most of Europe, well obviously, but most of uh there's very little, is what I'm trying to say, of remaining nations who are not Orthodox. Poland, being quite large, is going to take multiple wars. So we definitely have to sort him out, begin sorting him out here shortly. And, of course, there is the issue that perhaps some of these nations who do not have uh, religious ideas... Those two both have it, which is excellent. The Holy Bro we can convert... Uh, so it's Pomerania who doesn't have religious ideas, but his development's not very high. Oof. That's high, but that's already orthodox. Excellent. Sweet. I don't think there's going to be that much issue with uh, nations not being able to convert their provinces in all of those nations, so that's good. Uh, but we have a bit of a problem with all of this here in Africa. We've got some rebels that we have to deal with. That's not our problem, though. Uh, all of this overextension in Africa... And Bengal, as well as in Indonesia, we are way over our 100 over extension. So, let's begin with getting rid of this, giving it to the Holy Bro. Ober. That's apparently going to give him zero ascension. Is that the right province? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why? Yeah, I see this too. Yep. I almost gave him the wrong province there. Alrighty, but he's fine in terms of extension. Very good. I should have taken a province from Mainz, I forgot. So that we could hand this off to the Holy Bro as well. It would have been worth it. Uh, oh well. Got rid of a little bit there, and um, now I want to max out this dude who has religious ideas. He's going to do a good job converting for us, as he's done a good job converting his own land already. I'm going to grant him uh, everything that we can. Max out his overextension here. Now I have a seeking, sneaking suspicion that we're going to be overextended still. But, uh, you know, even when you're over, less overextension is not a, a bad thing. And we have no more Diplo slots remaining, unfortunately. But... Perhaps I'd be willing to go over. Okay, so that is not core. That is core, rather, but that is not. Um, go over our Diplo relations, is what it's about to say, in, in doing what we're currently doing. Generating nations, generating missionaries. Seems like a pretty good move. So I'm wondering, we released that nation last episode, and I'm wondering um, if there is another nation in Bengal. Probably not. Okay. This one here, aha, uh -huh, is less development. So that would put him at 90. Now we've got a few low development provinces out here. Let's see if we can give him those as well. I'm trying to give him as much as possible. Even though giving him that one there in the north, the tip, would uh, be too much for him to handle. Okay, I'm wondering, what is this one called again? Nice. Excellent. Very good. You know what? That's probably giving me zero overextension, that one. Yep. 
I think that was giving me zero over extension, so that was kind of a irrelevant. Um, all right. Okay, so if we give it a couple days to adjust here, okay, we're still way over. Now, how much are we coring up soon? That's seventeen percent, twenty-three percent, twenty-four, twenty-seven percent, twenty-eight percent. So we're still significantly over. Uh, are there any cores here? No. Rut row. I just began these. Dude. I think I should release this. Um, I think I'm going to. I apologize, guys, to those of you who would like to see me own the entirety of Africa. But at this stage, I am quite concerned whether or not we're going to be able to make it. And uh, all of this area here, which I think was worth like 60 over extension, is one nation. I, I definitely think that it it's actually worth doing this. This will sort out our overextension. Are you serious? Why can I not click on that province? What? Okay. Yep, we are going to entirely surround this nation either way. Now, I have to find out what they are called. Banyoro. Let's have a look for kind of a Congolese, Congolese nations. Maybe around here? That's over West Africa. Surely he's around here with Africans. I might have missed him. That's East Africa, the Horn of Africa. Okay. Soyo is here, so surely Congo. Really? Where you at, guy? Am I being a derp and just missing him? Um, I can't believe he's not n near the Congo. From my experience, this is not alphabetical, right? It's kind of cultural based into groups. I guess to be fair, they're not a culture. Oh, wow. How tedious. I mean, they, they don't share culture, I don't think, do they? No. So this group here is in its own group and there's only two nations to release. So there's basically two of them. Which could be anywhere, I suppose. So there he is, right at the bottom. Fantastic, I found him. Feels good, man. Okay, we got him. There we go. So our extension should be good now. And it is. And, um... I'm gonna go ahead and enforce religion on him. And hoping here that he has religious ideas, but... Ah, he does. He just began religious. Okay. Either way, should be able to convert those, I suspect. Let's influence him. I can see here with his three in admin, that's going to give him one more admin per month. And uh, that will help him finish those religious ideas. Alrighty, so a little bit awkward there. We're going to have a little friend. Africa was beginning to look pretty nice. But uh, at least it will be orthodoxified. Now the question is, oh, I probably should have started a war first, oopsie, and then waited for my emissary, but either way, uh, yeah, there's rebels here, okay, let's go deal with those rebels.
We're now over with the plus slot relations, but that's just going to have to be the case. Uh, so, coring everything up, and uh, while we wait for it to core, it's a good time to... I don't think we have anything in Asia, do we? No, let's move troops back up here. It's a good time to start another war. Whilst we are waiting for provinces to core. That's just how we do. And I think that this guy is the prime target. He's allied to Janpura and this little dude. So I plan to fully annex this little dude, which people have been just begging me to do. His capital's on this island, which is a small issue. I'm going to need to uh, have a navy around here, which we, we do have somewhere. Somewhere relatively close. Like this navy. We're not overextended, let's get rid of that mission. Alright, well I might have to use this, I'm not sure where, right now where my uh, my other one is. I thought I heard another navy here in Asia. Okay. What's the deal, guy? So Jim is going to back him up. Now we have an option here. Oh, my... Malaka is going to back him up as well. That's a bit awkward. Because we'll prevent this core. Wait, is he is he Defender of the Faith or Allied? Defender of the Faith? That doesn't seem right. I just owned him. Don't you lose Defender if you lose a war? Maybe he just bought it back immediately. Alright. I might put that on the back burner. We have a truce there. What about Jampur directly? What about Japan? Japan was fighting Russia and losing. It looks like I could do a... If we waited a little bit, I could do a straight up war against Japan. That could be a good move. I mean, Russia's not going to fully annex him, is he? I could take a big chunk there in Japan. He's probably over 100, yep. That could be a big move. I'll definitely think about it. So what are our other options? I don't have truce with these guys. So pretty much that, that's a good war. I think I might just go straight into this war. Um, we don't have shared core issues. No, I might attack him. And there's very few other nations remaining. We've got some Europeans, obviously. Another war I could fight at the same time is this war. And I might just do that. Oh, crap. All my units are stacked up. Oh my goodness. My manpower's literally gone. Oopsie daisies. That's not good. Um, I'm actually going to consolidate. I don't think we need quite so many stacks in Europe anymore. Okay, now... I need to transport over to Scandinavia, so let's locate some of our larger navy fleets. All right. Yeah, so if we fight this war, where's your capital, Scandinavia? It's there in Iceland. Now, he probably does not have other forts. Throw down another colonist. So we're going for the full annexation of uh, Scandinavia. Now, he does have religious ideas. We don't actually need to annex him if we don't want to, but we would at the very least have to force religion. Uh-oh. Ah, damn it. It's a bad time to fight him because he's involved in another war. Which is literally Sweden going into Bremen. Oh. Okay, that's a bit awkward. Um, I think... Um, let's just take a big chunk out of Poland. Sorry guys, a little bit indecisive there, but Poland is a nation who uh, requires multiple wars, uh, I imagine. And um, let's just get it started. Looks like a good time to do it. I'm going to come in from the opposite side of... Uh... God, I can't... Okay, 
I don't know which general I'm not utilizing. Okay, there we go. Our four generals are here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna. What I. I'm, if I can bloody well speak, I'm gonna try to take the west and leave the east for Russia to gobble up. Now, with that being said, I sincerely hope that the Russians don't guarantee him, which they've uh, done quite often. He does d desire the provinces, but I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes, as uh, he does seem to guarantee... Oh, he, he took away his guarantee on him. Okay, good. Good. I think we're good. Hopefully, uh, when the truce is up between Russia and Poland, the Russians go in and uh, brutalize him. Now, the Russians have fully converted Lithuania, with the exception of that province, which has rebels on it right now. He's fighting a war out in Asia, um, so he's a little bit uh, preoccupied. I suppose. However, as uh, some people have noticed in the comments, he has not converted every region that he has taken, guys, and uh, I'm not exactly sure why, as there's no modifier uh, preventing him from converting these provinces. So uh, a little bit sketchy, and uh, obviously uh, he has to convert the provinces, or alternatively, uh, we have to convert them for him, right? So we may find ourselves, uh, as much as I would prefer not to fight the Russians, we may find ourselves fighting the Russians once again before the end of the game, uh, trying to chew up whatever provinces he has not converted. But uh, let's be optimistic, he's got religious ideas, and overall he's done a very good job converting throughout this game, and uh, I'm not sure why exactly... He hasn't converted those as he's taken them, he's controlled them for years. But uh, let's have some faith. Wow, look at all these missionaries. We certainly have generated a lot of missionaries, haven't we, guys? I guess let's convert one of his provinces. He's pretty small, but at the same time, many of these colonial nations they've converted most of the stuff like it's pretty hard to optimize in that manner when I'm converting from my subjects best to just be happy with uh, converting something in general well the holy bro could do with some help he doesn't even have religious ideas I might focus on him actually and a lot of his provinces are high development or you know medium to high depending we got some 24 there and so on yeah, I might, I might actually uh, focus on helping out the holy bro. So, let's have a look at what 100% looks like. Pretty hard to get that exactly. 97 I might have to be content with. Now, Silesia is not Catholic, guys, and he was guaranteed by Poland. I think this is a good time to go in against him. And uh, go in for that enforced religion. Let's do it. Now we will convert his capital, and he's got religious, excellent. So, he will have no problem converting his old capital, actually. I don't know why his capital's changed. But I could guess that it is has something to do with warfare. Alright, let's just manually, um, let's do that 24 sized province which only takes us four months because we're converting savage i'm just going to convert like that like on spark some of his really high development provinces for him 
with our three missionaries. That's a good problem to have though, eh guys? We have no more, with the exception of promises we've cored, we've got nothing else to convert in our own land. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot just because we have so many, but we can see geographically here that there's not that many provinces to convert in our subjects. This is probably a good place to focus, helping out uh, British Louisiana. But either way, I'm starting to feel a little bit optimistic. we got to deal with Colombia, man, like ASAP. Truce comes up in seven years. And, yeah, he's going to take... I think, oh, it'll be close, I don't know. I'm not sure if we can fully annex him, I'm not sure, in our next war. Um, Unspark, let's, or Ulsberg, rather. Ulsberg. Where's Unspark? There. Yeah, my bad. Alright, I don't think there's any desperate need to spend our military points there, move, making it move faster. But maybe against Poland, I will progress quite well there, which is good. Oh, I didn't realize I'm not coring that up. That's awkward. And this guy's going to struggle coring that up. Aha, uh -huh, there's my other navy. I knew I had another one nearby. Let's go help him out here. It's a bit uh, inappropriate. I still, f this is buzzing me out here in India, man, Newfoundland, and the fact that he took religious ideas as well. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's awfully unusually fitting for our little run that we've got going on okay that's uh fort level nine there geez we can already enforce religion that easy let's do it all right 13, 18, he's caught everything up, what a champion, 16, 28, that's already orthodox, never mind, alrighty, he's looking pretty good, not going to worry too much about his stability, I don't seem to be able to get out there. But I'm going to be taking this province soon, I suggest. I think that's the best place to spend our missionaries, but it's uh, a little bit inconsequential. Maybe in one of these Roman Peru. In New Spain. New Spain's doing a good job converting. Yeah, not so worried about focusing uh, individual spots with our missionaries. We seem to be do doing a good job in general. Doing really badly on our manpower. Feels bad, man. But apart from that... I'm sort of mostly concerned about taking new provinces and then waiting for them to core before we can convert them, you know. So we're going to 100% overextend into Poland. I, I think we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Um, soon, when our truce comes up here in, in uh, whatever, five years, that's when we're going to be going a bit crazy because I need to smash the... Mexicans, etc. Yeah, he was going for Scandinavia. Okay, let's just uh, chill a little bit with that. 
Hang on. That's right, we have truce with him because we broke his alliance. See, I was thinking we can just declare on Scandinavia directly, but not really, unfortunately. Due to our truce. Fighting without generals all over the show feels good, man. It's just how we do. Obviously, if I was having more trouble, like, defeating nations at this point, I wouldn't be doing stuff like that, if, if that makes sense. It's the fact that it's quite easy for me. That, um... You know, I don't care... This navy's in a bit of trouble, though, isn't it? We inherited that navy, I think. I don't remember sending it out there. Maybe I did. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a fort there that we have access to. Let's go stand on that. I think in that case, that one might take some time. Our prestige is really high up there. So let's uh, do some placating. Jeez, Ming gives us a lot of money. He's a good nation to keep happy. Try not to upset him. In fact, I'm just going to placate him again. He gives us like almost 30 ducats. And uh, he's quite strong. I mean, he's got a lot of troops. Like when we declare in Asia, he helps us out, even though he's, you know, fairly weak. Uh, the sheer amount of troops he has is nice, for sure. Let's keep Ming happy. Stand in farmlands there. The main reason my manpower is just gone, apart from those terrible events, if you guys recall, that just sunk my manpower like crazy. The main reason that all of a sudden it's at zero is because I'm just suffering attrition, just sitting around, derping it. Everybody's standing on top of each other like an imbecile. But uh, that's just how it is. Now, this guy should be stable, right? Is he, um... Do I see any missionaries? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe he gets some peasants by the looks of things. But he's pretty much stable. I might throw a... As he's got some actual separatists there, I might throw a missionary there in a moment. But um, we no longer need these troops here in Africa. I don't think we can mobilize them anywhere else. Which is good. And the same goes for him. He's been there a long time. We haven't exactly needed him. Okay. This is actually doing worse. Let's spend military there. Okay. Bengali separatists getting wrecked. That's good. Swedish are trying to give us a run for our money, eh? And uh, we do kind of need a separate piece of them if we want to. Well, hang on, what's the... No, 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 okay. That overextension is only worth 58 war score. Probably don't need a separate piece of the Swedes, actually. Oh! I've got to be careful reducing my legitimacy. But we're good. Our absolutism is really high. I guess I'm going to tick up for negative 10 there. Just get rid of that big chunk of admin while it's being uh, quite inefficient so for the sake of it I feel like converting from the bottom up in terms of speed I think that's a good idea because our missionary strength is really strong and we might find that some of our uh, subjects that don't have the religious ideas, that makes the difference, these ones down here, from being convertible and not convertible. Does that make sense? If we convert those harder ones um, ourselves, he might be able to convert the easier ones. Our subjects, I mean. So, I'm going to start converting the... 
most difficult provinces first. Hesse is doing some, uh, I mean, considering I can't be bothered individually and deliberately converting them from specific nations, I'm going to take that approach at the moment. Uh, this guy nindering some of our sieges, making our what we desire to take uh, not exactly plausible, so damn it. More border gore on the horizon, I suppose. I was considering um, giving those promises to the Holy Bro to try to help out our border gore situations. It's all about that fashion, of course. And, uh, oh, I cancelled influencing the Holy Bro. He could definitely do with an influence. Gives him that admin, generating admin there, even though it's a subject, as uh, I would like him to core more land in the future. Yeah, because inevitably, guys, Russia and I are going to have a really awkward border. Like, if, if I take a chunk of Poland, like a really weird, snaky chunk, and then Russia goes in there. I mean, it's not exactly that significant in the grand scheme of things, but I'm just saying, if we take something really obscure and then Russia goes in and fully annexes them. Oh, guys, these guys have been... They should be orthodox, though. Yeah. If they spawn, that one province doesn't matter. It will be the majority of uh, Lithuania which is all orthodox. So if Lithuania defects here, he's going to be an orthodox nation. Uh, I was just going to say that these guys have been successful. They're on forts, which means they're probably ticking on that fort. And it's because the Russians are out in uh, Asia fighting Japan. Like, you guys remember this defecting? The reason it's happening is because he's out in this part of the world fighting, and he sends all his troops out here, and they take, like, literally a year or so to come back over here. Um, so depending on how he prioritizes it, yeah, they become successful. Alright, that guy should be pretty stable. I'll just quickly help him out considering I've got some troops nearby. No! Okay, that's actually a Polish province. Don't take Prussian provinces though. You damn guy. In fact, just peace out, please. Are you being... S you're, how is it that Poland and Sweden can't win that war? <laughs> I mean, I guess my subjects are giving them a hard time. Or they're just sitting on my land. But it's like, damn, you're fighting two one prompts miners, dude. Just peace them out. Yeah, how are we doing with our colonist? Oh, jeez, I should have been throwing him down big time. Come on, monk. It's be better than that. Whoa, 1.7k. Making that money, dude. Even though we got so many colonies and so on. We are, we are rich. All right. Dude, that's so awkward, because we're going to block out Russia. I have to wait. God damn it, this is tilting me so hard, this guy. Because now I'm, I'm, I wish I was in another war. I thought this was a nice, easy war that we could uh, peace out and not have to wait on anything. I guess, let's, god damn it, screw that guy. This guy's got large forts out here as well. Here we go. Let's fight this war as well. Are you serious? That guy has no siege on him. Brutal. That is so upsetting. 
This should be stable, this area, right? These are the provinces which have modifiers. From the kind of center of religion or whatever. Pretty upset about Hesse preventing me from annexing Poland by just ninjuring occupations. Stupid game. I would already like to be at peace and, and we could easily do it. We got the war score and the enthusiasm if it wasn't for this. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Let me think about it. There's not really anything I can do! Because we're going to block Russia out from taking that. I could do... I could do it going like that. Okay. Yep. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna have like the ugliest border ever. But it's just how it's gotta be. It's just how it's got to be. At least it's one a group that the Poles can, uh, excuse me, the Russians can. T uh oh, he no longer demands, uh, desires it. Uh oh, feels bad, man. He might not even bother taking it himself. We'll see. Well, we did that in a timely fashion, though, um, which is good, even though. I got extremely frustrated there for a moment. We're actually a little bit he ahead of the game there, because we're about to core those up and then be under overextension, but yeah. Life's good, I guess. And then uh, I'm going to be prepped and ready to overextend again as soon as we core that up. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. A uh, little bit, yeah, sketchy now. I'm not so confident that Russia's going to go in against Poland. Um, but he was, he was one of those large nations either way. We can see his war score cost is quite low. And it's probably, I imagine, uh, going to be under 100% overextension to take what remains. Um, so it was definitely a good move going in against him. And uh, we, have, we could fully annex Sweden if we need to, even though it will cost overextension. Uh, yeah, he was one of those lighter nations, and our truce still got plenty of time, you know, plenty of time. Wow, look at that Germany looking more and more orthodox every day, it seems. Um, yep, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, pretty much have to focus on Central America, Scandinavia, some of Europe, very small amount, and uh, parts of Asia still. But the rest of the world is looking more and more orthodox every day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.